guys so today I'm going to be doing my July uh, wrap-up and my August TBR I've actually never done a wrap-up TBR type video but I decided why not start doing them you know let you know what I'm reading what I want to be reading what I'm gonna be reading so you know why not so I decided that I would do that for you guys today I read five books and out of those five books four of them were rereads which is really weird now that I think about it I don't really know what happened <laughs> I guess I was just sort of in like a slump but like I read five books but like a slump as in I didn't want to read anything new so most of these are rereads but I'm still gonna show you guys them anyway because they're all like good books that I love and that's the reason why I reread them so yeah I'm just gonna get started. the first book that I reread this month is Hopeless by Colleen Hoover. I absolutely love this book. It's one of my all-time favorite new adult books and again Colleen Hoover is my favorite author so I obviously love anything that she writes. This is one of my favorites. I had, I had only read the book once before I read it again this month so it was nice to dwell back into this book and experience the characters all over again. I really really do like this one. If you haven't read it you should definitely pick it up because it's a great read. Next book that I reread would be Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins. I just love this book and you know it's summer and I like those like light fluffy reads and this is exactly what this is. If you haven't read this book I don't know what you're doing <laughs> um, but it's everybody loves this book. It's one of my all-time favorites. It's a great contemporary read and it's just such a cute story and you can literally read this in like a, a day or two like a day or two and it's just so light fluffy and cute. I keep saying that I know but I just love this book so much and that's all I can think about when I see it. It's just cute and it's just really really good and Stephanie Perkins again is a great great writer but yes love this book very very much. Next book that I reread was Beautiful Disaster by Jamie McGuire. Many of you probably know this is my favorite book ever and um, it was my fifth time reading this bad boy. I know fifth that's kind of embarrassing but it's just great and I know it seems like how can you read a book five times it's like watching a movie five times I mean like you can do it it's fine <laughs> but I just reread this book because again it's my favorite and for another reason that I'm about to show you but yes love this book again but reason I reread that book is because I picked up Beautiful Oblivion by Jamie McGuire and I was so excited about this book. Um, for those of you that don't really know anything about this book, it is the first book in Jamie McGuire's new series, The Maddox Brothers, which is a book that coexists in the same time period as Beautiful Disaster and it's written about Cammy and this boy named Trenton Maddox who happens to be Travis of Beautiful Disaster's brother. And um, yes, it's so amazing. I loved this book. It was so good. If any of you have read it, um, you know. Like, you know. But um, if any of you are interested on a review for this, I'll do one if anybody wants me to. So let me know about that in the comments below. But yes, yes, I loved this book and I love Jamie McGuire's writing. I think her, like, everything about her writing is just really funny and everything like that and again Beautiful Disaster is my favorite so I obviously had to read this one. So that was the one book that was not a reread. But it was really good. I really enjoyed it. I think it. I gave it 4 out of 5 stars, so loved this book. And again, all those books are 5 out of 5 stars. This was a 4 out of 5. There was a couple issues with it. Again, I'll do a review if anybody wants me to, but I loved it. And the last book that I reread in the month of July, I just finished yesterday, and that is Slammed by Colleen Hoover. Again, a lot of Colleen, like Jamie, are my favorites, so, you know, I read a lot of that. But Slammed is one of my favorite, favorite books. Um, it's Colleen... Why did I just forget every word in the English language? Slammed was Colleen's debut novel um, that came out like two years ago or something and it's one of my favorites. I don't think I'm gonna reread like the whole series but it was nice to read this again. Lakin and Will is like OTP. It's like one of my favorite couplings um, and I just love this book. I love slam poetry. Some of you might know that. I'm a huge poetry fanatic especially slam poetry spoken word poetry is amazing so yes I love this book I loved getting back into this little world and I really enjoy Colleen's writing again so it's just a great thing to have and read. So those are all of the books that I read in July now I'm going to be sharing with you just a couple books that I'm planning to read in the month of August. The first one being Why We Broke Up by Daniel Handler. Um, I've heard so many good things about this I know Katrina from um, Little Book Owl loves this book um, and I've heard other people talk about it. Her, I like remember talking about it and I've just wanted to read it and I just picked it up yesterday while I was at the bookstore getting presents for my brother. It's his birthday today. Um, book presents. And um, yeah, I just picked this up for myself because, you know, why not? And um, it's a really beautiful cover. I love how it's like paperback, but there's like 
a dusk jacket. It's super weird, but it's really cool. There's pictures in this, and it's just really adorable, and I'm excited to read it, and so I'm probably going to start this today or tomorrow. Who knows? I'm excited about Next it. The book that I plan to read is Tease by Amanda Maciel. Maciel? I don't really know, but this book I hauled like last month or something, and it's been sitting on my shelf, and I have not read it yet, but I really, really want to, so I'm definitely going to be trying to attempt this one this month. Um, if you don't know what this book's about, I think it is about a girl named Sarah who is like a bully, um, and she bullies this girl, and the girl ends up committing suicide, and it's like Sarah dealing with the aftermath of the suicide and getting blamed for it because she bullied her, something like that, and I think that's quite interesting. Thing. Um, so I'm excited about this. It's like nothing I've ever read before. So I'm hoping it'll be a good one. I've heard great things. So we'll see about that. Another book that I plan on reading in the month of August is Unbroken by Laura Hillenbrand. Um, this is my summer reading book. I haven't started it yet, <laughs> um, but I'm excited about it, I guess. It seems sort of interesting. It's really thick, so I'm thinking about listening to it on audiobook. I don't know if there's an audiobook for it, but I'm going to look that up because it might be easier to do that. I'm not sure, but um, yeah, so I have to read that for summer reading. Who knows how that's going to go, you know, summer reading. <laughs> so we don't get options. We just get one book we have to read. So who knows about that? I'm hoping it's going to be good. I've heard amazing things about it, so who knows, but I'm going to be reading that in August. And the next two books that I plan to read this month are ones that I'm the most excited about because they have not come out yet, but they're coming out this month. And some of you might be able to guess one of them or two of them. Who knows? I don't even know. I'm so excited. Okay, so the first book that I'm excited to read this month is Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover. Again, Colleen is my favorite author. I'm obviously super excited about that book. Honestly, don't know what it's about. I really don't, but I know it's coming out like in two weeks or next week or something like that. It's coming out very soon. It's by Colleen Hoover. I'm gonna read it the day it comes out. No joke. I'm so excited about it. So who knows? I don't. We'll see. I'm excited. And the second book that I'm super excited that's releasing this month is Isla and the Happily Ever After by Stephanie Perkins. And that is the third book in the Anna and the French Kiss like contemporary companion novels. I don't really know. But I'm so excited about that. It's going to be following Isla and Josh, who we got to meet in Anna. So I'm super excited about that. I love Stephanie Perkins. I love the series. I love Lola and Anna so far. So Isla, I'm definitely super excited about, and I'm hoping it's going to be good. So I'm really excited about that one. So those obviously aren't all the books. I mean, that's five books, I think. So who knows if that's all the books I'm going to be reading this month. Probably more. Hopefully more. I'm, I really need to like get on started because I'm like a little bit behind on my year challenge so I need to like pick it up Laura pick it up so anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know in the comments below any of your favorites that you read this month or you can link me to any of your videos that you did about your TBR wrap up whatever so yeah um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you all very very soon love you all bye